What's up guys, today in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to set up car audio indoors. It's really not too hard to set up, but you just need a few things first before you can start. So the first thing you guys need is your car audio amplifier. Really any kind of car audio amp will work as they're mostly all made the same, at least in terms of the power. So the next thing you guys are gonna need is a PC power supply. And really the main reason you need this is because your car audio amplifier runs off a of 12 volt power and you can't really just plug it into the wall and expect it to output 12 volt power. So you need to have your own power source for that and a PC power supply works just fine. The next thing you guys need is your speakers that you're going to be powering. It could be a subwoofer, a tweeters, a mid driver. It doesn't really matter what kind of speakers you're trying to power. It's all really going to be put together the same anyway. The last thing you guys need is a receiver or a head unit. This is also important to have because this is what sends an audio signal to your amplifier and then to your speakers so they can play. So the first thing you guys want to do is locate your 24 pin motherboard cable and then what you guys want to do is you want to find the green wire as this wire is what makes your power supply turn on. So as you guys see I have a wire connected to the green wire and then I have that wire connected to a ground. You can really connect it to any black wire you want. The next thing you guys want to do is grab your SATA cables, your GPU cables, and your CPU cables. And if you guys have any Molex cables, grab that too. So basically you want to use the black wire and the yellow wire. So the black wire is negative and the yellow wire is your 12 volt positive. So what I did for my setup is I cut all the yellow wires and then I cut all the black wires and I basically connected them all together and I have them connected straight to my amp. So as you guys see right here, the yellow wires are the positive and the black wire are the negative and they're both connected to my car audio amplifier and then right here is my speaker out and this is my subwoofer wires and then right here i have my line out converter so this line out converter converts a high level signal into a low level signal so it basically converts a powered audio signal into a normal audio signal but i still have that 24 pin cable intact as we're still using that cable to actually have the power supply turn on and then if you look at the top of the amplifier i have some rca cables hooked up that are connected to my line out converter but i also have my bass knob connected too so this is the receiver receiver that I'm currently using and this is what's connected to my line out converter and then if I press the power button on my power supply you guys can see that the fan starts spinning and then if we look at the amp you guys can see that it's on so that means the power supply is working and it is powering the amp So as you guys can see, the setup that I have works perfectly fine. And I actually use this setup almost daily. So definitely having the PC power supply connected to the amplifier definitely works good. But I thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys learned something new and I'll see you guys in the next video.